Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Hi, I'm Shannon, CEO and co-founder of Film Fave. I am also your film host from time to time that will be talking about all your favorite films. Um, Star Wars, Marvel, sci-fi, whatever you like. But one of my favorites on the top of my top 10 film fave is Beetlejuice. And I'm so very excited that I have found this hidden treasure way out in Livonia, Michigan. And you guys are joining us today and we are going to take a look at this fun Halloween experience. Yes, my friends, Tim and Natalie out of Livonia, Michigan have created the ultimate Beetlejuice house in their front yard. Good, how you doing? I'm doing really, really good. I, I have seen your pictures roll across the internet, and I tell you, I am blown away. Don't you hate it when that happens? When, when did this start? When did you come up with this idea, and has it always been film? hasn't always been film. We started, uh, you know, doing the normal Halloween stuff. We did zombies, um, you know, then we moved to like a, like a carnival, carnival theme um, with lots of clowns. People love clowns, right? Yeah. Um, but then, you know, um, you know, my wife, Natalie, she, she, you know, brought up the idea of going into movies and, you know, I agreed. I thought it was awesome. Um, so yeah, that's where we took it and planned to move forward with, you know, different movies. Yeah, wow. Beetlejuice is the first movie that we've done. Yes, you two kids picked me. You didn't have to, but you picked me. It makes me want to kiss you guys. Um, we kind of came up with it. We had taken a weekend away and stayed at a haunted castle uh, for our honeymoon. Yep. And, and I thought <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. It was pretty awesome. Um, and I thought, why not Beetlejuice? Because it's so iconic. And I thought there's so many scenes to recreate. We're home. Added scary movies just have one villain, one bad guy. And then, um, you know, just like teenagers make out and then somebody gets killed. And that's the, you know, it, it, there's not a lot of scenery to it. Mm -hmm. um, but when we talked about Beetlejuice, we thought, you know, Tim Burton and all that. It, there's so many characters and so many scenes to make and people know people recognize it right away wow have it organized how the film happened <laughs> that's a real fan right there you start out at the bridge which you have a real freaking car coming out <laughs> of the bridge right there Well, Natalie de definitely had the vision of she wanted the whole the covered bridge uh, with a car, real car, sticking out of it. And um, I just happened to mention it at work, and my buddy actually had a car just sitting in his barn. <laughs> so he brought it to work, and we literally, in one day, we pulled the motor and chopped it in half. Wow. And he he hauled it over here. Yeah, it's actually only half a car. Yeah, it's a, yeah. <laughs> it was not light. It, still was not light. <laughs> it was not light at all. Yeah, very like the quality is pristine there. I mean, it's everything is to the T and safe looking. What are your qualifications? Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. So For he's, sure. he's very skilled. He's a he's a yeah. finished carpenter, and so he's always enjoyed making projects and things like that not just mm -hmm. doing kind of the boring stuff at work he always is excited to do new yeah. things at work so um yeah and he's also a super ridiculous perfectionist and so <laughs> which is good and bad there I will guess. be hours spent on like one <laughs> tiny like the shrunken head guy for example yeah. did you do that 
very nice work. Yeah, we want it to feel like you're yeah. there. Yes. It really puts you into the film experience. And I'm from the bridge aspect of it to Dante's Inferno, right? And I think that one was a risk for you guys in a neighborhood. You're in a suburb, right? So <laughs> Why did you build that? I didn't. Because that's girls, 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 baby. <laughs> <laughs> we went right back when you and pull into the, about we're that. like on the edge of the uh, neighborhood. So you we're the pull, entrance. Yeah, the we're the entrance. house on the entrance yeah. of the neighborhood. So too. you pull in the neighborhood, that's the first thing you see is Dante's yeah. Inferno. So. I love it. So I love the shock factor. <laughs> I did say we had to leave off live nudes. I was like, I think maybe yeah. that's a little too much. So we have live nudes. Yeah. Um, but we do have the girls' girls, and we made. Um, I, we talked silhouettes. about having mannequins, but the mannequins are really our biggest expense. And yeah. so he, his idea was to kind of just make the silhouette. So he cut those out. Yeah. And in the windows. And added them up there so that we at least had the girls up there. Yeah. That. So, yeah. Oh, was God. perfect. Subliminal. You know what it is, but we're not saying yeah. there's new girl here, right? <laughs> yeah. Every time a kid walks, goes, "What's this?" I'm like, "That's where the girls dance," and that's all I said. <laughs> that's where the girls. Dance. But he made the doors like because I, I mean, I painted the bottom part. Yeah. But I said we need door handles, and then he put the kick plates at the bottom, and that's all just stuff that we spray painted with silver. Yeah, the paint kick plates. Well. That's the detail, the level of detail. You even got into the kick plates inside the door. It's like, yeah. it makes me sit here and go, how many times have you seen this movie? Which <laughs> I'm not going to say that I haven't watched a few hundred times either. So <laughs> again, almost directly into the pattern of how the movie goes. Was that planned or did it just lay out perfectly that way? So on the corner in between yeah, that is have, a little bit of a cemetery, so you see yeah, the headstone yeah. and the tree. Yeah, that yeah, because that's, says, that's the part with Dante's as well, Yeah, you know, so it kind of relates, that's why that sits there in between the waiting room and Dante's, but yeah, I think he, this year I'm going to do the old... He always uh, says he's going to kick that tree yeah. over at the end of the night on Halloween. <laughs> do and it. Then, and, and then that, yell that the, famous line. Yeah, the famous line. You're working with a professional here! <laughs> We weren't prepared for the people that, at least I wasn't, that no. were going to show up, like, not only on the weekend, but, like, now, like, every night on the weekdays, I'm yeah. just, like, blown away. Yeah, There's it's, so many people. It's so odd, because, like, we're sitting here right now, and there's probably 150 people in our yard, which is so oh, yeah. strange. <laughs> I've never, we did Beetlejuice last year, too, but I've never made a post and made it public, so I always have just posted on my page yeah. and said, hey, like we're almost done for friends and family to come over. And I posted that and some friends had tagged people and I thought, oh, they can't see that unless I make it public. Yeah. I made it public and now it's at almost 5,000 shares. I've had people message me from other countries. It's yeah. gone it's crazy. Gone yeah. It's gone completely crazy. The waiting room. So all you have all the mannequins in there and then uh, you have the guy that got swallowed by the shark or uh, the leg. He took that shark with him, didn't he? <laughs> she put that together and she found that shark. This is like, I, I was, was like, where can I find, this I gotta totally find the cool. biggest shark I can possibly find. And it's just like a silly stuffed animal. My, my daughter was like, I want that when we're done. We'll sell the mouth back up. I want that. <laughs> oh. What's funny about that guy is yeah. behind him is the guy in the sleeping bag with the yeah, snake. With the snake. Yeah. Both of us have never seen that guy in the movie. Really? So when I was Googling an image of the shark guy, I'm like, who is this guy in the back? 54 million, 601, Fern Dock. And I'm, I showed him, he's like, I've never seen that guy. That's not in the movie. And it's crazy. Like, I can't believe as many times as we watched it, like, we haven't noticed him. No. And then my kids were like, yeah, he's behind the shark guy. And I'm like, what's wrong with us? And yeah. then we put it on. I'm like, there you it is. You see it. I'm yeah. Like, well, I, yeah. I, now I got to have that guy, too. So... And that's the great thing about this movie. It has little tiny uh, little Easter eggs inside there that you, once you watch it again, you find something else, a little something else, you know. Did you know that the um, the girl that was sawed in half was actually Tim Burton's girlfriend at the time? Hey! As a matter of fact, I even brought my, uh, my handbook for the recently seen. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. She's holding it out there right now. It was so funny because yesterday, That's no, awesome. two days ago, 
somebody sat on her hand and broke it when they were out there taking pictures. Oh so no! He fixed it. I was hurrying up and fixing it because I'm like, Tim, people are posting pictures and she's only got one arm. You have to hurry up and fix it. Looks terrible. Yeah. So she's back out there with both arms and she's got her book. Looks, but it's art, if you will. I know I'm sounding like a little mushy here, but you know, this is what films do to us. That's where it takes us and you can escape. Once you walk out of the waiting room, you go right into the dinner party. Which was to the T, the shrimp hands you have in there. You have all the mannequins sitting around. That's incredible. And then you even go into the part where, good evening, Kmart shoppers or something like that. I can't remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's perfect. Who painted that with the Beetlejuice piece of it? Wow, that's good he, detail. He stood on a ladder and just freehanded that. Yeah. And that was the first time where, because we had that done last year, um, and it was the first time where I was like, I always kind of thought I was like artsy craftsy one, and then he did that and I was like, ew, like you're better than me, and now I'm mad, because like, now I've been like demoted, and like I do all the background, like I painted the walls. <laughs> I get all like the grunt or boring painting and then he does all these amazing big pieces like the devil in front of Dante's and the Beetlejuice face because we've, we've been together for our whole lives basically and I think he always just told me he was bad at painting because he didn't want to paint rooms. Never. Like when we moved in and I'm like I I painted my mom and I painted like every room in the house he's like yeah I'm just not really good at painting <laughs> and then he started doing this and I was like you lied you just didn't want to paint. Well, that's the secret I tell my husband about cooking. To have really screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, his his secret's out now. I'm like, whatever room we do redo next, you're painting it. <laughs> now I know your level of skill, so no. we're right. not getting so like Some kind of shading that has to be done. I'm in. <laughs> How long did it take you to build this? It takes a while. <laughs> I, I told him next year we are tracking our hours like like yeah. we're clocking in no one's paying it's us but we're clocking in because yeah. we never keep track but it's, but it's months. Definitely I mean months. it's, it's months. we start in like early summer nothing goes out in the yard until mid-September we don't want to be making yeah, the neighbors <laughs> in this year, I think anything would have flown people were so you know stressed yeah. out that they've probably been happy to see it out there but we start building in the garage early mm. and all year long i'm finding like i'll call him like i found the girl with the braid i found the perfect yeah. dress for her at the thrift store so like right. that's like an always thing um yeah. he wants to do a new theme every single year and wow. that's just insanity <laughs> so i told him if he wants yeah. to be married that that is not <laughs> so, i mean yeah so shall we so big this year and we never planned on that yeah. and now I'm like oh next year is a year one and a year one is always kind of a little bit smaller than a year two yeah because um, we're starting with nothing I mean once November 1st happens we got nothing we're starting over yeah. completely and that's daunting year one is daunting are we talking that it takes a lot of money to spend something like this I would think that people should be donating to this experience <laughs> Well, so many people have asked and uh, yeah. we've, we've never put anything out. And I think if we did, we talked about it, we would make it, we would donate to a charity if we did yeah. put a box out. We just want people to come and enjoy it. We, I don't, yeah, we're not looking for anything. And this like year, that. this year I've he we've had so many people, but so many people have said like, this has been so fun coming here yeah. and people have come more than once. You know, I had some people that came, I went out to get the mail. And there were people there early in the day in the morning and i said oh you got to come at night it's so much better at dark she was like no we were here last night so there's people <laughs> that are coming more than once yeah. and um we've had some people that have driven quite a long distance to come and see us yeah. um and just everyone has said the same thing like this is so great that you guys did this and we never even considered not doing it this year i thought if anything go bigger we got to do it bigger because yeah. 2020 has sucked and so we wanted right. to still be and you know it feels you know because it's outside and things like that and people are coming in their small group family groups that it, it seems safer you know than having you know there's not a lot of, a lot of haunted houses didn't open this year yeah. um but honestly our i feel like we do pretty economical right. um honest our the biggest expense is the mannequins um if i could find yeah. some store going out of business it's like my dream come true to find like a 
JC pennies. It's like, we're done. And I'll be like, I'll take all of them. Um, <laughs> that's the biggest expense. But we, a lot of the wood and we've got some new metal frames this year are things that his work is just getting rid of. Right. They're done with and they're going to be in the garbage. And so there's. So at work, I'm constantly on the lookout. Yeah. Like anything they throw away, I'm like, well, wait a second. Let me take a look, see if there's anything I can use. His, and, and everybody knows that we do the sets. There's like a Tim, sets. a Tim pile yeah, at work. Yeah, yeah. Pile. <laughs> yeah. yeah like pile of people will put stuff aside and be like, I think you could use this and I'll and and I'll go check it out and be like, all right, great. Yeah, let yeah, all right, I'll take that home. All of the furniture from the um waiting room I garbage picked, every last piece of it. Our, my neighborhood's good for garbage and yeah. I would drop my daughter off at school. I'm like, Oh, look at that chair. She's like, You better take me before you get people garbage in the car. Oh. So she's not a big fan of that, but I'm like, Hey, there's no shame. There's some treasures out there. But you now know, that the you know, couches look almost unique, the almost too yeah. film. Like very 80s, yeah. very 80s. You know, the couches I actually got from, um, it was Facebook Marketplace, but they were free. And I, I saw them and I told Lee, I got to come and get these. And so we went over there and it was a lady, they were cleaning out their great grandmother's house because she was moving in with them. Uh -huh. And then the night of Halloween, they brought her over last year to see her couches oh. on display. Oh, so and she sweet. loved it. <laughs> She's like, my kids and my grandkids, everyone's always loved this movie. And so they were thrilled. Have you thought about considering uh, working for film sets and uh, filmmaking? I mean, the quality and the design is there for sure. I, uh, I mean, that would be like a dream come true for me. <laughs> but I, you know, I don't know how to explore anything like that. You know, I mean, people ask all the time, "Do you guys do set design?" I'm like, "No, I, I'm a counselor. I work with teenagers, and he does auto show stuff." But yeah, I would I, love to do that. People ask me what I do, and they're like, "Are you like, are, you know, you do art and stuff?" And I'm, and I'm like, "No, I'm just carpenter." And they go, and I get this reaction: I'll just, "Oh, just a carpenter." <laughs> you can definitely see that the quality's in there, and that comes from your carpentry skills. So, I uh, please take credit for that, and that's a big, big thing. You know, it's a huge Thank thing. You to have Halloween and have a something as spectacular as that and to be safe, that's just incredible. That's really incredible. How are you going to top this next year? Because you said uh, this is your last year. I do have a plan okay. and, and I think it's going to work, but we plan on doing Ghostbusters. Call it fate, call it luck, call it karma. And the whole thing is uh, I want to do the State Puff Marshmallow Man, right? Oh no, mother puss bucket. But I gotta have them um, true to size. Okay. So my yeah. goal is I can't make his whole body. That would be just impossible. Yeah. But if I could somehow make one arm and his head coming up over our house. Wow. I want his arm to come out and be like over the front yard. Yeah. Wow. So, well, if anybody I, can do it, it's you, man. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> he was, I said, how are you doing this, like, to make it lightweight enough? And how are we, yeah. like, we've been brainstorming. And he's like, I got a year to figure it out. I'm like, no, you got about three or four months to figure it out. Now <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to start building. Looks like we did, Barbara. I'm super excited. Hopefully, we'll be able to travel up to see that next year and actually do an in-person interview. I wish we could do it now, but it, I just saw you last minute, and I'm just super excited about what you guys have done. Beautiful piece of work. Uh, you've given people that escape from the nastiness that's going on out there, from the politics and to the COVID virus and everything. You've really given people an escape, and that's what films and movies do to us as fans. Well, y'all, Tim, Natalie, it's been amazing. It, it's been fun. I actually really enjoyed the yeah, conversation. This is this was awesome. It's no trouble taking up my time. Well, looks like I'm next. <laughs> Good thing, too. I gotta do a photo shoot for TQ in about an hour and a half. <sighs> Well, thank you for joining us. I'm so excited that we got to experience the Beetle House up in Livonia, Michigan with Tim and Natalie. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah thank you. Absolutely. I've made a friend for life. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And if you happen to have a film fave experience, a theme of your home, or, or maybe even a cool cosplay or a special cake, we'd love 
to see it. So follow us, uh, like us, subscribe, do all those cool things film fave people do, and we will get back to you very soon. Again, I am Shannon, CEO and co-founder, and your film fave host. See you in the movies.